Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about five short Java interview question and answer. Explain system dot out dot println. System is the class having static variable out that defaults to system console and println is the overloaded method in the print print string. So system is a class. It has a variable called out and how to soft type print stream and this print team print stream has a method called println so it's a static that's why we are able to access like this it's a static variable and this is a static method explain public static void mean public means it has public access Static means that method can be invoked without instantiating the object, correct? Void means it returns nothing. So public means JBeam should be in a position to access this method. And static means we don't need an object at all. We can directly use the class name. Void means the main method is not going to return anything. What is the Java bytecode? The Java bytecode is a form of instructions that the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine executes. Java bytecode is a form of instruction that the Java Virtual Machine executes. So you have your Java file, whenever you compile it, it becomes class file and the dis this dot class file contains the bytecode. What is the relationship between cl class file and the bytecode? The class file holds the instruction in the bytecode. Okay. So if you open the dot class file and if you check, it will contain the bytecode. Bytecode is also called as instructions for the Java virtual machine. How can we make the object immutable? By making it a final class, you can make the object as immutable. So by making it a final class and making all the members as private, though with those being initialized through the constructor. So the idea here is once the the state of an object is initialized it should never be reassigned the state should not never be changed to any other state so the moment the state has been assigned or created for an object it should never be reassigned so that's why you should not give setters method you should you should not never allow this class to extend so th th by this you can achieve immutable hope these five questions are useful thank you and all the best